RNA splicing removes introns from pre-mRNA and connects the exons together. Splicing involves a complex called the spliceosome that has subunits called SNRPs. Each SNRP contains a small nuclear RNA and proteins. Certain sequences are required in an intron for it to be removed by the spliceosome. Among the requirements are a GU at the 5' prime end of the intron, also called the 5' prime splice site, and AG at the 3' prime end, or 3' prime splice site. A branch site toward the middle of the intron is also required. This sequence contains an adenine that plays a key role in intron removal. The first step is binding of the U1 SNRP to the 5' prime splice site, followed by binding of the U2 SNRP to the branch site. Next, the trimer of U4, U6, and U5 SNRPs binds at the intron region, completing the spliceosome assembly. The 5' prime splice site is cut, and the 5' prime end of the intron is connected to the adenine in the branch site to form a structure called a lariat. At this time, the U1 and U4 SNRPs are released, and the U6 and U5 SNRPs shift positions. Then the 3' prime splice site is cut and the exons are connected together. The lariat intron is released along with the remaining parts of the spliceosome. The spliceosome subunits will later dissociate from the lariat, and the lariat will be degraded. The final outcome is that two exons have been covalently connected to each other, and the intervening intron has been removed.